Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Greg Alashvili, world champion at under 81s 2022. So first time for him, but I definitely expected him to become world champion at some point. He's got all the skills and we're going to look at it now. So round two all the way to the final. I got another video with the final where it's the whole thing. So in this video, it will just be highlights, but we'll have a look at his early matches as well. So this is the first match, round two for Greg Lashvili against Dejalo, is that how you say it? From France. And this match, this match was a good one. A couple of throws from Greg Lashvili. And it's one of the great things about Greg Lashvili is he's kind of, he's very keen to throw people and he strings a lot of combinations together. Lots of interesting combinations and he uses his body really well. You'll see it later when he's fighting against Molai, but the way he breaks grips, he uses his legs to kind of break grips. It's great stuff. And this here, see him talking to his coach over there. It's a key thing throughout all of his matches. Look at this huge Epon. Awesome stuff. Double double grip on the sleeves. Not sure what to call this exactly. I mean, he is wrapping up the arm, so that's a makikomi, but this is a, a koshiguruma, right? With the hands over the top. I guess maybe it needs to go around the neck. I'm not sure, but never heard people say koshiguruma makikomi before, so I don't think it's that. Round three now, and I thought this would be another kind of early victory for Grigalashvili. Goes to the ground pretty quickly. Manages to actually secure a pin, but doesn't hold it for long enough to score even a Wazari. But you'll see it here. Tomoe Nagi attempt after the drop down. Seori Nagi, I think. And then from here. You don't see this much at the high level. A lot of people, you know, two hands on the belt, get the hooks in, roll them over. You don't see it too much at the high level, I think. Um, not to say anything about his opponent from the Dominican Republic, but very, very rare to see someone use that that sequence in judo, in the Neowaza. I mean, it gets taught everywhere, but at the high level, I just don't see it that much. So here, it has the hold down, but then loses it. Looks to try to secure it up again. Doesn't get it. And then, at the end of the match, nice little combination. Look at that three-piece, four-piece bit of Ashiwaza. Putting on the pressure. He's got two shields to his name. And just putting on the pressure, you know. Blue's got two shields. Greg's got none. But he's like, I'm going to go in. I'm going to throw you. I'm not going to play the shield game. I'm not going to run out the clock. And that's what I like about, you know, Greg Lush really. And a lot of other judoka. Fujiwara as well. I mean, he lost it, but it's impressive. It's respectful. It's what we like to see, right? Okay, quarterfinal now against Nagase, and I don't want to talk about this match too much. I did talk about it in my recap video, but I mean, Greg really looked good in the beginning. He was looking for things, he was attacking, and I'm not sure what it was, but he just kind of got gassed out. He just got way too tired and spent way too long. I thought he should have got shit old numerous times, and even, I mean, Kenya Hansako Maike that? You should be able to. I thought it was. Not only disrespectful, but just stretching the rules way too far, and the refs, they should have been they should have been on that quick. So I'll just play uh, a sped up version of it, but I recommend going to the IGF uh, website, signing up for a free account, and then watching the entirety of it because it's quite embarrassing the amount of times he just like squatted down. And took a rest. I mean, look at this. He didn't even need to squat down in this instance. And this one's the worst one. I mean, I'll play it in, in full speed, but watch this. Squats down, has a conversation with his, his coach. Come on, this is bad. This is very bad. That should be two shittles right there. Three. That, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, he got lucky, made it through that one. Now I'm going to say he got a penalty to his name. I mean, it's unfortunate because Grigalash really, he, he did kind of put it on, I'm going to say, at the end after he took those lengthy breaks, but it makes you wonder, would he have been able to kind of, you know, do this at the end of the, end of the fight if he hadn't taken those breaks? And I think the answer is no. And maybe I'm biased because I love Nagase a lot, but... I think Gregor Lashvili should have been shit old multiple times for that. But anyway, let's get into the semi-final. So against Malai in the semi-final now, and 
this was a bit of a Shido battle as well, which was unfortunate. And I don't think it's got much to do with Grigalashvili. I mean, Malai, he's a hard competitor, hard to deal with. Unique and interesting groups. It's just a struggle, you know? So I don't blame Grigalashvili for fighting this way, and I thought he did pretty well. But there's some interesting things we can learn. Looking for a counter here to Malai's Kataguruma. And there is an interesting grip break. See what he does there with his legs. So it's one of, one of the great things about Greg Lashvili. He puts his whole body into, you know, even just breaking grips or, of course, throwing. But here he is again trying to, you know, just generate momentum from his legs up. Really, really good use of his body. So Malai now, two shittles to his name. Greg Lashvili, just the one. And Greg Lashvili does what he, he does a lot, you know, putting combinations together, good attacks. And Malai, unfortunately, he gets that third Shido. So we'll have a look at the finals now, just the highlights. And if you haven't gone and seen this entire match, I do recommend watching it in full, just like that Nagase match. You know, have a look, have what you see what you think, like watching the, the whole thing in its entirety. But it wasn't really until the match got into golden score where things started to open up a bit. I'm not sure if it was a tactic of the two guys, but I don't know. Sometimes sometimes people like to wait until a golden score. I'm not sure why. Taking that Georgian grip on the back now. Starting it with the sleeve, using the sleeve to feed the grip. And this is where I think, you know, Grigalashvili started to take off, where he started to kind of pick Cass up, you know, absorb the attacks that he was giving him. Thanks for the Uranage attempt. And so that's that's a throw going backwards, and then he's mixing it in with the Ochigari as well. And of course, the Koshiguruma, and we're going to see that very, very shortly. A big Uranage attempt here. Hands on the knees. I wish he would fix that and stop doing it. Actually, here in Japan, it's um, it's frowned upon, so you'll, you'll almost never see... Um, an elite level Japanese judoka with their hands on their knees. They might squat down, but standing upright and putting your hands on your knees like that, it's, um, it's, it shows a sign of weakness and you don't want to show that. Um, I think it comes from the traditional days when judo was more of a, you know, a martial art, a, a, a budo, a bujutsu. Great escape here by Green Lush Really, Cass, Cass also had some great escapes. That hand over the back, and Cass doesn't like it going into the Ochigari this time. I watch him tie up the grips at the same time. Looking for the Koshiguruma, doesn't get it. Looking for the counter here as well. And Cass, I think he made a mistake, you know, coming in close here a lot. I think he should have kind of maintained a bit of distance. See, like this, this court. Cass doesn't want to be here. No matter how strong he is, that's Grigalashvili's area. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be in there. I'm trying to think back though, didn't, didn't Cass throw Grigalashvili from one of those positions at one point? I'm not too sure. Alright, the final sequence now, guys. The big... Koshiguruma. And look how deep that, that it's not even a sleeve grip, it's right up near the armpit. Just picks him up and dumps him. Huge Ipon to win the gold medal at the World Championships. It'll be played around the world for quite some time. So congrats, Grigalashvili. And that's it guys. I'll see you later. Peace.